So it's been two months since I lost breastfeed, maybe more, but it feels like a lifetime ago. And I'm gonna try and remember everything as if it happened yesterday, but you know, mom brain. But before I tell you how we weaned her off, I'm gonna tell you why I decided this. So before she turned one, I told myself I was gonna breastfeed until one years old. But as we got to one years old, I wasn't emotionally ready because if you've breastfed for a long time, you know that you have this connection with your child and I was just, I just wasn't ready. So at I think 15 months, that's when I started getting overstimulated, like she would need me so much at night and I felt like I couldn't do anything and it's, it's rough breastfeeding a toddler because they're more active, they'll kick you in the face and all that and I just felt out of touch and overstimulated all the time and I knew, okay, no, I'm ready now. But I knew that weaning her off meant physical labor, like we were gonna physically have to put her to sleep and both me and my husband were not ready for it yet. So we put it off until she was two. And then I think about the month after she turned two, she became less dependent on the breast. She, I think that after she turned two, she became less dependent on breastfeeding. Like she didn't need me or want me as much. She'd go to my mom a lot and she started sleeping there and she wouldn't cry for me. So I was like, okay, this should be an indicator and a good sign that she's ready to wean off. And that's how we kick-started the journey. Um, she slept there for two days. And then when she got home, I dropped the afternoon feedings. And I would just let her feed during the night when she woke up. Because I was literally too tired to get back up and rock her to sleep. And in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I would not breastfeed her. And I would try on the days, like, she's a FOMO toddler. So, which means they, they, they fight you <laughs> when they want to sleep. So... On the weekends especially when my husband was here we would go for car rides and put her to sleep that way just so that she wouldn't want um to breastfeed and that helped within the two first weeks and then at night time i would make sure that i wasn't the one putting her to sleep because she would still smell the milk on me you know um we did also the first two weeks swaddle her and give her a pacifier the specifier, the diaphoric specifier, if you have a toddler that still uses a specifier, please look into this range, it is amazing. Um, that helped so much, like going back to basics. And then moving on past the two-week mark, I noticed a lot that she was just overstimulated more because when she fell asleep, when I would breastfeed her, she could fall asleep through any environment. But then I noticed um, her not being or not being breastfed anymore. She needed a more calmer and non-stimulating environment. So I would completely shut everything down for like an hour two hours before bedtime so we still do this and she now comes and she lays next to us and i'll just rub her back and she'll literally fall asleep that way so yay i love that for me so yeah uh, for me and my mental health um i'm loving not breastfeeding anymore i feel i have more freedom now um she doesn't cry for me at all when she's not with me so yeah i think it's important to also stop breastfeeding when you mentally need to. Um, don't let other people tell you when you should and shouldn't stop breastfeeding. So this was just a quick um, summary of it, I guess. But if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comment section and I will speak more about postpartum and what it was like being a mother and the transitioning into it all. So yeah, thank you for watching.